everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I once again gone a little overboard with my makeup because space is real and stuff and I thought I don't wanna let it go to waste and just do it for the gram. So I thought let's look into the other gram, the telegram, and let's see what Attila Hildmann is doing. Because oh boy is there an update to make. I made a video a few weeks ago. Was it four weeks? Or more or less? I don't know. I think during the pandemic everyone knows now that time is relative. First of all, he is searched with an arrest warrant because the police feared that he could just vanish, basically, which he did, <laughs> funnily enough. So basically for a few weeks now, Attila Hildmann has been searched by the police. No one knows really where he is at the moment. He's just... There was a reporter in Turkey and no one knows really and that kind of triggered something in this poor poor right-wing idiot basically you can say he's more nazi than ever surprise because he doesn't hold back anymore his anti-semitism because most of the time he try to justify his anti-semitism with I don't hate Jews, but I hate Zionists. And they, yeah, but that's not even a thing anymore. He is just flat out saying horrible, vile stuff about Jewish people, about um, the Holocaust. Basically, he claims the Holocaust isn't real, which is horrible and illegal, by the way, in Germany. And still, he thinks he hasn't given anybody a reason for an arrest warrant because he's a nice person. The anti-Semitism, the Holocaust denying, threatening to execute politicians publicly, kill everyone with poisonous syringes. I mean, come on, that's normal, right? And his conspiracy theories are worse than ever. I mean, he was worse before and incredibly radical in his views. But now it's even worse. Oh, and <laughs> he founded a new video platform because YouTube is censoring so much. So he founded with many, many world-class programmers the platform WTube. You get it? And because he thinks it's censor free and no one will come into the way of your content. <laughs> Which is funny because I've seen screenshots all over Twitter from people saying, well, it doesn't really look like it. <laughs> So I thought, let's look at his Telegram channel. So it's basically WhatsApp with an additional social media type of way. I mean, of course, there's probably most of it is propaganda where he cherry picks some articles by news media. And he takes a lot of polls, as you can see here, which are horrible. This is propaganda. He's manipulate, manipulating the people because most of the time you have possible answers. But none of them could even represent a different opinion than his. Which is not very surprising, but disgusting. So protests with um, mask requirement, basically, and Stasi violence, all while... Elderly people get killed by the Jewish poison 
and the young people get sterilized. R. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, that doesn't make really sense. R. R. Never. Or R. Exactly what will free Germany? I mean, it doesn't make in German very much sense, so don't worry if it doesn't make any sense. That's why. What? How many people has Angela Merkel um, changed the DNA with the syringes with CRISPR CAS9? CRISPR is a, a gene scissor. I hope that's the same translation to English, but I don't think that's exactly the same, but um, yeah. And as you can see here, more propaganda about anti-vax, of course. And everywhere you look at this thing, there's always the word Judengift, which translates to Jew or Jewish poison. And it's everywhere. It's here. It's there. You have it here. It's disgusting. Um, this here is a lovely woman. I really, really enjoy her content. She's a German chemist. And she is very much in the public eye. She has a YouTube channel. I think she has still. But she's basically very popular. And she explains various different scientific terms and fact checks other articles or claims and also fact checks conspiracy theories. Which is a problem for Attila Hildmann because she shows how full of shit those people are with proof and she explains it so well and he of course cannot handle this. What a surprise. Oh yes, the claim that the Antifa, or in German it's Antifa, uh, was founded in the 1920s by Jewish people. Of course. And even if so, where's the problem? I mean, Antifa the is just an umbrella term for many left groups, and some of them are extremists. And extremism is never good. Never. But Antifa is basically just short for anti-fascism. That's it. And that's all there is. The different groups and there have so many different goals what they want to achieve. Some are good in my opinion and some are bad. But these this usage of the umbrella term i mean we've seen it with donald trump and in america and everywhere basically it's not the same okay oh another one let's just look he posted again oh my god not one single german in the uh bundesrepublik germany um government all are Jews in the Jew Republic, which is stupid. You can be Jewish and German. You can be German and not be Jewish, and you can be Jewish and be a re It's just a fucking belief. It has nothing to do with your ethnicity or where you're from or anything. It's like to say, uh, there are no English people. They're all, all just Christian. I mean, come on, it's just hate speech. That's it but the funny thing is he i mean it's not very funny when you think about who this person is and what he what kind of message he spreads into the world but i think it's pretty funny to see that the biggest patriot germany's who just wants to fight for germany as soon as there's a little bit of an arrest warrant he just left the country and you know what he did then? <laughs> He's gone into Telegram and asked his followers, please go demonstrate at the public office of the prosecutor. And he asked them to protest there once a week against his arrest warrant. Isn't that so 
bollocks. <laughs> How can you be like that? Such a hypocrite. Patriot. But guys, I have to go. He founded a social media platform, a video platform without censorship and censors other videos. It's just amazing. I mean, when you're a hypocrite, it, it gets tiring. And he looks very tired in his newer videos. Wow. Okay, here are a few different questions he asked his followers. Sometimes he wants just to have a percentage. And at, at some times you can um, s change the settings as that is the right answer and everything else is wrong. And it's kind of disheartening to see the percentage. Because there are many people, I think around 30% of people are just there to fuck with him and just to hate watch. Like me. As a German, what will break you free or free Germany? You know what I mean. A new vote. The AFD in power, um, which is the German right wing party. And they have a really bad Nazi problem. They're horrible, horrible people. But he hates them also because he thinks they are from Jewish people to destabilize Germany. I, it's complicated, it's convoluted, and it doesn't make any sense. But hey, when it, it means less voters for the AFD, I'm, I'm fine with it. So. Or the German Republic um, has to go, the German Reich, the, the Deutsche Reich, uh, has to reactivate. See? Wrong. <gasps> what have the fairy tale of um, Sleeping Beauty, is it I think in English, and Anne Frank in common? Both fairy tales or both girls which is in german a similar word <sighs> yeah that's what i thought but thank god 33 33 percent said both girls horrible horrible why aren't there any free accessible hitler speeches and and why um, get people or Germans locked up if they search for those speeches and documents. <sighs> the answers are because it doesn't fit into the picture people have from the bad person named Hitler that um, the Jewish people painted or because they are dumb. Again, a question I won't even answer because it's horrible, horrible, horrible. I guess there's a new conspiracy theory and that will be the last thing I will answer. But yeah, this what have the ISS and the Holocaust in common? A, both fairy tales in empty space or B, both historical correct facts. And of course, it's wrong. That is just ridiculous what this person thinks he is or what the German people are or need. And it's, it's troubling for me. Because as I said in the Daniel Pratt video where I talked about racism, I think as Germans and as white people, especially as white German, people we have a responsibility to not let that stand there and let him do what he does it's horrible it's vile and it's really emotional for me because i i think i feel helpless i can't do anything besides calling him out and i will and i will keep doing it because it's the right fucking thing because this is disgusting and this is not what Germany is today it may be was but it was a dark dark time in our history and I am proud to be German and I'm proud that we do not represent this and that is all I have to say for now because it's just 
too much. Just too much. I can't say anything more. So I hope you... I don't know if you can like this video. I hope you did watch the video. <laughs> Let's say this. And I wanted to shout two people out which are so incredibly nice, make good content and I really really enjoy talking to them and I think if you're not subscribed please go and subscribe to them. One is The Snark. He makes very funny musical videos and um, songs about various topics and it always puts a smile on my face. And the second one is Lang Replace. He is an incredibly nice person. I think one of the nicest persons I have ever met. And we have a collab coming up. Well, maybe two coming up. So please stay tuned. And I really enjoy talking to them and their videos. They're very genuinely nice people. And they deserve so much more. And I just wanted to be a little bit thankful for the nice words they always have for me and yeah please check them out you won't regret it i promise so thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next one bye